Dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The graph shows the variation with time t of the current i in the primary coil of an ideal transformer. Ideal transformer means that the efficiency is 100%. There is no power loss. Okay, so there is no flux loss. The number of turns in the primary coil is 100 and the number of turns in the secondary coil is 200. So the transformer ratio is 200 by 100. That means 2. So this will be equal to this. It means that the voltage is doubled. In the secondary coil, you're having double the voltage. Now, uh, which graph shows the variation with time of the current in the secondary coil? So from this uh, numerication, uh, like uh, the, from this uh, formulation, uh, we can comment on the voltage that is produced there, but we are yet not able to comment on the current. But uh, <clears throat> it is given that it is an ideal transformer. So the power will be even I1, and that same power is delivered at the output because it is an ideal transformer, efficiency is 100%. So even I1 is equal to E2 I2. From here, I can only say that current will become half, isn't it? Because the voltage is doubled, so current is halved. And you can clearly find it from this. So I primary divided by I secondary is two. So the current in secondary will be IP divided by two. You can just find it from this relation. So current is now getting halved. Now if current is halved, so let us move to the options now. Okay, so current is halved, it means that definitely the magnitude should be even lesser than this. So B should be correct, A should be wrong, and D can also be correct. So A is wrong, C is wrong. So we can, we are sure now with the information that now we have, definitely either B is correct or D is correct. Okay, so my dear students, uh, here there is a piece of information, very important. This thing is actually not given in the books. So I am pretty sure that you people are like going completely blind for this question. I'm 100% sure for this. Why? Because there is something called inductor. It is a device which is very similar to capacitor or we can say resistor. Inductor is a device which is actually a solenoid. And this is the symbol. It's a solenoid. You know the solenoid. Solenoid, when used as a device in a circuit, it is known as inductor. So in transformer, what is happening, like these are the coils there. Now, this is the primary coil and this is the secondary coil. So this is a solenoid, isn't it? And this solenoid, when used in alternating current as a device, I told you it becomes an inductor. So basically, this should be taken as an inductor. Now, <clears throat> you are having this alternating current topic going on. And in the alternating current, in your syllabus or in your books, only and only resistor is used, not inductor, neither inductor nor capacitor. But in this question, you have to use the inductor. Otherwise, you cannot answer it. Because for majority of the students, answer B should be correct. But I know that the answer will be D. Why? Because there is a lag in the current. Now, so my dear students, B is wrong, D is correct. Let me tell you. In the case of resistor, there is no difference between the primary current and, the, and that current. But when there is an inductor, the output current is lagging. Lagging means when the current in the primary coil will be max. At that time, the current in the secondary coil is zero. This is known as lagging. So the current due to the inductor, it lags. So current, like in inductor, what happens is it provides with a back EMF that we have learned. No. So in the transformer, there was something called back EMF. So it is going to provide induction. So there will be a back EMF. So it does not allow the current to grow through it. So thereby creating a phase difference of pi by 2, 90 degree. So phase difference of pi by 2 comes into position and that is why the graph of D will be correct. So B is wrong, graph of D is correct. But ironically, because this topic is not in your syllabus and you people are not even understanding like what the hell is this inductor, I really feel that IB should not be asking this question. 
that is what is my field but anyways so this is how we do this question my dear students let us now see uh, the answer in the mark scheme if uh, you are having the same answer well yes the answer given is d okay dear students so this is professor varun and thanks for joining please share the video with all of your friends and i have started uploading the paper two questions and please join the youtube channel to access those questions all the best